We're with Canon UK. We're talking to David Parry about the Canon EOS R3. And the new thing on the top, well, there's lots of new things, but it's also got a new hot shoe. Yeah, um, so yeah, so we've got a new hot shoe on the top here. Um, don't panic, it is the same size as a standard hot shoe, so all of your accessories that you currently have, flash guns and so on, will still fit this. Um, the difference is, is that um, we've made this kind of smart in a way by putting an extra 21 contacts on the front of the, um, the hot shoe, which is underneath this little metal cover here. And what this enables you to do is it enables you to have two-way communication between the camera and the accessory. Um, this means that you can control the accessory from the menu on the back of the camera and for me what I think is the best bit is you can power the accessory from the camera as well which just enables you to make smaller lighter accessories if you haven't got to worry about putting AA batteries inside it or having CR2032s or whatever inside the accessory just means that you don't have to have to worry about whether that um, accessory will last for the shoot that you're doing and that is great. Um, I've actually got one of the accessories, um, I've actually got two, two accessories with me today which is um, first time we've really seen one of these. This is the um, STE-10 and it's a speed light transmitter. Ah, cool. So we do the STE-3RT at the moment, um, which is, a, which is quite, a, quite a large accessory in comparison to this. And that STE-3 is large because it's got two double A's inside it and also it has a screen on the top to allow you to control. But because you don't have to do that anymore, it makes this incredibly small and incredibly lightweight. Um, it really is a, um, you know, a very, very small accessory there. Um, we've also got a microphone coming as well um, which should be available available soon and um, once again that doesn't need any um, batteries inside it but also with the microphone you don't need the three and a half mil jack either because all the information is taken through the hot shoe and that's the beauty of this new hot shoe so I'm excited to see new accessories that that come out. There is one other accessory to show you very quickly which is this little thing here which is a hot shoe adapter now, you know I said this is exactly the same size as a standard hot shoe, right? If you have one of our flash guns like a 600EX or an EL1, something like that, when you put them on something like a 1DX or whatever and you click it on to lock on, this um, cover comes down and it makes a whole like weather sealed uh, unit. With this, because we've redesigned the shoe, you don't get that weather sealing if you put the flash gun on it. The flash gun is still fit, but you don't get that weather sealing. So we created this little unit that goes on in between and that will give you the same level of weatherproofing. So it's there if you need it. If you don't need that level of weatherproofing, it's absolutely fine, but the option's there if you need it. So I guess with this new connection, the electric contacts, and as you say, the camera communicates with the, with the device. It doesn't need to have a screen, it doesn't need to have a battery. I guess that means that you can make other things smaller as well. Yeah, I mean, the potential for this is great. To have this amount of communication between the accessory and the camera and not have them working together um, just enables you to make you know make lots of different things. So like I said, we've got the, the speed light transmitter, we've got the um, microphone, um, and you know the, having the microphone um, not needing the extra cable just also cleans up the, mm. the connections and how you do this. So yeah, it's very exciting to see what, what's going to be coming for this. Cool.